Here's a cheap way to make a pool skimmer extension that'll allow your skimmer to catch debris much better. All you need is a 20 inch length of one and a quarter inch PVC pipe and two end caps, a stainless steel screw and nut, a piece of three quarter inch PVC pipe, one and three quarter inches long, and a short piece of half inch PVC pipe cut and sanded to make a press fit into the skimmer. Cut a short piece of three quarter inch PVC pipe as shown here to snap over a half inch piece. Make that three quarter inch piece as long as the pipe cap is wide as shown here. Drill a hole and screw it to the pipe cap using the stainless steel screw and nut. Then use some silicone sealer inside that pipe cap to seal that screw. Make sure that the pipe cap shown here snaps over the half inch piece of PVC pipe very securely before you glue the cap on. Cut a piece of half inch PVC pipe to make a press fit inside the skimmer as shown here. You can either trim it with a utility knife or sand it to make a precise press fit. Here's my little buddy helping me out today with this job. When your pool water is really high like it is right here, making a skimmer block off plate will help your skimmer work better. You can make that as shown here with a piece of vinyl or a piece of vinyl siding. This is just a press fit into the skimmer. This really increases the water flow into the skimmer by blocking off part of the skimmer. When you have part of the liner pop out of the track as shown here, start by pushing up on the liner about two feet down from where the liner popped out. Use the palm of your hands to push up on the liner working it towards where the liner popped out. The warmer the water and the warmer the weather, the easier this will be. Then you can use a piece of electrical wire, the proper color, or a piece of this vinyl rope, the proper color, and that will lock that bead in. You can buy products that will lock the bead in, but you can make it just as well with a piece of wire or a piece of vinyl rope. This photo shows a corner of my pool where I had trouble with the liner popping out and it's locked in with a piece of white electrical wire. These cloth filters work really well but don't try to pour your DE through them. Take this filter out of your basket before you pour your DE in. These skimmer basket filters work so well they'll even stop pollen. The only downside of using these filters is that they work so well that they have to be cleaned very often, once or twice a day at least, and you need to be around to be able to do that. If you're not able to check your pool on a daily basis, I wouldn't advise using them. The filter just fits over your skimmer basket as shown here. On my 18,000 gallon pool, the normal pump pressure is 10 pounds. If it exceeds seven or eight pounds per day, you need to change the DE filter agent. This red needle is tied to the green needle. So when you move the green needle to set your normal pump pressure, the red moves with it. On my 18,000 gallon pool, running the uh, chlorinator at one and a half to two after the water is completely balanced and corrected works just fine for my use. After a heavy rain, I turn this chlorinator dial up to give it more chlorine to uh, bring the water up to specs, then I turn it back down. I use a drain plug in my drain line, and here's a little plywood wrench I made to uh, loosen that, tighten it. Instead of removing the drain plugs in this Hayward pump and having to retape them every year with Teflon tape and taking the chances of them leaking, I just leave them in. And I use a small cup to dip out the water in that pump reservoir. And then I use a rag to get the rest of the water out. And I do my chlorinator the same way. 
to avoid freezing during the winter. Once you've bumped the pump a few times, with the pump off of course, I'm going to drain this old filter DE and open the vent valve right up here at the top. And after that's open, I'm going to go down here and open the drain valve. And I'm going to catch all that dirty DE in a little pail. And when it close, gets close to being full, I'm going to shut it off here. Put my plug in it. And I'm going to empty it in a five gallon pail. More precisely, it's going to take five. Five five gallon plastic pails. Now here's the trick to getting all the DE out. You need to bump the pump real quickly. Not so much it'll shoot it all over the floor, but real quickly. And again, plug it off. And again, as soon as the flow starts to slack off, bump the pump just a second or two. That is an even second, maybe a half second. And I'll bump the pump a couple of times. Shake off any that might still be stuck in the filter. Water isn't clear yet. Close to it. Okay, I'm going to stop after this bucket. Because it's almost clear. Just a little bit cloudy. It's a good place to stop. While I'm at it, I'm going to clean this filter basket. Which is not that bad. Okay, clean the basket good. Now here's a little trick I'm going to share with you that might save you from breaking a cover. When you put your basket back in, Put your lid back on, make sure there's no trash around the rubber gasket or around the edge of the cover. Put the cover on and just snug it up. Then, putting your body weight on the center of that cover, just snug it down good. The reason for putting my foot on it 
If you don't, a lot of times you'll tighten it. It'll break the two ears off the cover. I've had that happen more than once. Since I started putting some weight on it when I tighten it down, works great. Now while I'm at it, got the water off, I'm going to check the chlorine. See how it is. Yeah, I need to add some to it. Okay, when you open the chlorinator up, good idea to hold your breath. These chlorine fumes are strong. Same thing with opening a new pail of chlorine or any pail of chlorine. I've got my chlorinator, my inline chlorinator, full of sticks. I find the best setting on the little dial down here at the bottom. I'll take a picture of that. Uh, one and a half after everything's all balanced out in the pool and everything's perfect, one and a half to two works out real good for me. Lubricate the edge of this chlorinator with a little bit of Vaseline from time to time so you won't ruin your O-ring. Once you've tightened the air valve, your valves down here are set correctly, the lid is on the chlorinator, the drain plug is completely tight. Now I'm going to show you how to measure the DE. I have a great big tub here that I keep the DE in. In fact, I just got some and it's full. Okay, I have a little DE scoop here, but let me tell you something, you can make your own. I never could find out online how much DE. It's supposed to take two pounds, but I couldn't find any way to measure it. So, after I got this, it holds six cups of water using a kitchen measuring cup. That's how much it holds. So if you take any container and fill it full with six cups of water and mark it, then you'll have uh, your own DE scoop for nothing. And this takes two pounds, which is two each of these. Each one of this, these, sorry, each one of these is one pound. Okay, one pound of DE. You just add it to the skimmer. You can add it as quickly as you like, no problem. Then I need to go get and add another pound. Make sure your basket's out, and whatever you do, don't use one of these cloth covers over it anyway, because it will stop all the DE from going into the filter. Okay, now I'm going to add the second pound of DE to it. Try not to breathe this if you can, or wear a mask. Then replace the basket with the cloth, and you're done with the filter. Okay, now the filter agent is in the pump, and the pump reading is exactly 10 pounds, recommended for 18,000 gallon pump. Now this uh, has a red arrow that your pressure should not exceed. So you can watch this gauge daily. And if it rises more than five or six pounds per day, then you need to change your filter agent. Okay, I have five pails lined up here right beside the pool. And when that DE settles, and, it, and it'll probably take overnight to do a good job for it to settle all the way out, then you can carefully pour your water off the top back into the pool. That way, you won't have much DE to have to dispose of. I learned this the hard way. I used to worry about disposing all five, five gallon pails of water and DE. And that's a job. Those things are heavy when they're loaded with water. Now, don't ever run this pump without the DE filter installed. 
and I've never been told this, but I can only guess that it's because you don't want dirt and sand to end up into these little cloth fingers inside this pump, and there's a lot of them. I'm just guessing off the top of my head, maybe 50. Anyway, you don't want dirt to get in these little cloth, cloth fingers because the DE packs up around those little tubes and filters the dirt and the sand out. That's how it works. When you stop the pressure on this pump, it bumps the handle. All the DE and all the dirt falls down into the bottom of the pump till you turn it back on again. Now that's after you've bumped the pump, bumped the lever. But after you turn it back on again, of course that DE, the dirt is left at the bottom of the DE, goes back up around the little tubes, packs around it again. So never run your pump without the filter agent. And that's the reason why. Of course you've got a uh, carbon seal in the pump itself. A watertight seal and it's much like a car's air conditioner seal. It's a little carbon seal. Any dirt or grit that goes into that could ruin the seal eventually. So that's just another good reason for always having the DE in the pump when you run it.